Happy New Year, everyone! Welcome back to our Talk to Us podcast, Health Tips Weekly, episode 19. Hey, do you know what a thyroid gland is? Well, the thyroid gland is a small butterfly shaped gland in the neck just in front of your windpipe. Thyroid gland makes thyroid hormones, which are essential for helping your body use energy stay warm and keep the brain, heart, muscles and other organs working as they should. It is not exaggerating to say that thyroid hormones affect nearly every organ in your body. Without it, your body's function would slow down. But what happens when your thyroid quits? Let's find out in today's episode on Know Your Disease Hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism, also known as underactive thyroid, happens when your thyroid gland does not make enough thyroid hormones to meet your body's needs. As a result, a myriad of problems may occur to your body. The symptoms of hypothyroidism vary widely. Some people have no symptoms, while others have dramatic symptoms or rarely life-threatening symptoms. The symptoms of hypothyroidism are notorious of being vague and for being similar to a normal changes of aging. Hence, it can be less intuitive to tell immediately. A thyroid screening test is warranted if you or your doctor suspects hypothyroidism. With that being said, People with underactive thyroid may experience certain symptoms which will be mentioned in the following. Firstly, slowing in metabolism which can be manifested as fatigue, sluggishness, slight weight gain and intolerance of cold temperatures. Secondly, skin and hair. Your skin may become dry out and become flaky you may also experience sweating lesser. Your hair may become thinner or coarse and eyebrows may disappear. Your nails can become brittle. Number three, eye. Mouth swelling may appear around your eyes. Number four, heart. Lack of thyroid hormones slows your heart rate and weakens your heart contraction. As a result, your heart's function is reduced and you may experience fatigue or shortness of breath when exercising. 5. Breathing Underactive thyroid weakens the muscles that help you breathe and reduces your lung functions. Symptoms can include fatigue, shortness of breath with exercise and decrease the ability to exercise. It can also lead to swelling of the tongue hoarse voice, and sleep apnea, which is a sleep disorder that is characterized by excessive snoring and gasping of air during sleep. 6. Gut health. Hypothyroidism slows the actions of digestive tract, causing constipation, and rarely the digestive tract may stop moving entirely. 7. Women's reproductive health. Hypothyroidism in women can often cause menstrual cycle irregularities ranging from absent or infrequent periods to very frequent and heavy periods. The menstrual irregularities can make it difficult to become pregnant and pregnant women with hypothyroidism have an increased risk of miscarriage during early pregnancy. Treatment of hypothyroidism can actually decrease these risks. Number 8. Muscle aches and joint pain. Last but not least, number 9. Hypothyroidism can cause higher cholesterol levels in some patients. Individuals with hypothyroidism who received treatment should no longer experience any of the symptoms above. If they do, it is likely they have other causes than an underactive thyroid gland. Talk to a healthcare professional when in doubt. 
So, some of you may ask, what can actually cause hypothyroidism? In the majority of the cases, hypothyroidism is due to a problem in the thyroid gland itself and is called primary hypothyroidism. Example, primary hypothyroidism are also known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis and atrophic thyroiditis, where both of them are a form of autoimmune disease that leads to the inflammation of the thyroid gland. This happens when the immune systems that protect the body from invading infections can mistake thyroid gland cells and their enzymes for invaders and start attacking them. Thyroid cells and enzymes are destroyed in the process and there are not enough of them left to make thyroid hormones. And besides, certain medications and diseases can also decrease thyroid function. As an example, hypothyroidism can also develop after certain medical treatments for hyperthyroidism. In short, to treat overactive thyroid, some patients may need to undergo surgery or radiation treatment to remove their thyroid gland, that causing them to develop hypothyroidism instead. In some cases, hypothyroidism is a result of decreased production of thyroid-stimulating hormone by the pituitary gland, which is situated inside your brain. In addition, medicines such as amiodarone, treating atrial fibrillation for irregular heartbeat, lithium for bipolar disorder, interferon alpha used in treatment for many cancers, and interleukin-2 used in treatment for metastatic cancers and leukemia, can actually prevent the thyroid gland from being able to make hormones normally. These drugs are most likely to trigger hypothyroidism in patients who have genetic tendency to develop autoimmune thyroid disease. Iodine is essential for the production of thyroid hormones. Therefore, taking too little iodine may result in iodine deficiency causing hypothyroidism. The primary source of iodine is the diet via consumption of foods that have been fortified with iodine, including salt, dairy products, and bread, or that are naturally abundant in iodine, such as seafood. Recommended daily iodine intake is 150 microgram in adults who are not pregnant or lactating. However, for people with a damaged thyroid, Taking too much iodine can lead to paradoxically hypothyroidism. Both men and women can have an underactive thyroid, although it's more common in middle-aged and older women. Children can also develop an underactive thyroid and some babies are born with it, which is also known as congenital hypothyroidism. In Malaysia's hospital, all newborn babies will be screened for congenital hypothyroidism upon birth or at fifth day of life. This is carried out by taking a blood sample from the umbilical cord and sending it for lab screening. Symptoms of hypothyroidism develop slowly and are not easy to catch. If you think you might have an underactive thyroid, you are encouraged to see a doctor. Many symptoms of hypothyroidism are the same as those of other diseases, so doctors usually can't diagnose hypothyroidism based on your symptoms alone and would actually run a thyroid function test to confirm the diagnosis. Thyroid function test is the only accurate way to find out whether you have a thyroid problem. It is done by taking your blood sample and sending it to a lab for assessing the levels of these components such as TSH, free T4, total T4, T3, thyroid antibodies, and thyroglobulin. 
We won't get into the details of each component though, but collectively, they will inform your doctors the status of your thyroid function. Hypothyroidism is treated by replacing the thyroid hormone that your own body is lacking. You will take levothyroxine, a form of thyroid hormone medicine that is identical to a hormone that your thyroid normally makes. Your doctor may recommend taking the medicine in the morning before eating. This is because thyroid hormone is best absorbed on an empty stomach. You should not take any antacids, calcium supplements, or any iron supplements or cholesterol-lowering medications as it may interfere with the thyroid hormone absorption. Your doctor will give you a blood test about 6 to 8 weeks after you begin your thyroid hormone treatment and adjusting your doses if needed. Each time your dose is being adjusted, you will be having another blood test. Once you have reached a dose that is working for you, your healthcare provider will probably repeat the blood test in 6 months and then once a year. Your hypothyroidism most likely can be completely controlled with thyroid hormone medicine as long as you take the recommended dose as instructed. Never stop taking your medicine without talking with your healthcare provider first. If you have autoimmune thyroid disease such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis, you may be more prone to the side effects of iodine. Therefore, you should limit or avoid foods that contain large amounts of iodine such as kelp, dows, or other kinds of seaweed as well as iodine supplements. You are encouraged to talk to your healthcare professional about what foods you should limit or avoid and let them know if you are taking any iodine supplements. Also, share information about any cough syrups that you are taking because they may contain iodine. Women need more iodine when they are pregnant because the baby gets iodine from the mother's diet. If you are pregnant, talk with your healthcare provider about how much iodine you need. Rarely, hypothyroidism becomes so severe that it leads to mycedema coma, a life-threatening medical emergency. People with mycedema coma may experience decreased mental status, low body temperature, low heart rate, low blood pressure, decreased breathing or coma. Mycedema coma can cause death often due to complications from infections, bleeding or respiratory failure. That's it for this week's episode. If you have any questions related to thyroid, you can consult our professional doctors and healthcare professionals on doc to us doc to us is a mobile application that allows you to talk to a doctor or any healthcare professional via text chat at any time and from anywhere. Download Doc to Us on Apple App Store, Google Play Store, and Huawei App Gallery, or use our web chat at web.doctous.com. Till then, stay safe and take care.